Hi everyone, it's Imam. In this video, I'm gonna show you today uh, using Blender to create a kind of missile. <coughs> uh, 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 so for this missile, I'll just follow this uh, Indian missile called uh, air to air missile called Astro. So there are several pictures online. You can see. How it looks roughly try to model this roughly um, from different angles yeah you can see it how it looks so let's try to recreate this uh, in the blender as 3d model first of all when we start blender there's a new cube in the scene uh, we have to delete this by pressing x on the keyboard and we select delete left click and then we go to the modeling tab in our scene we have a light and camera at the moment we go add mesh and circle for this circle we go there here under this panel we click and we can define the circle more precisely we have 32 vertices for this circle and the radius is 1 meter at the moment since I don't know uh, I'm assuming this missile is 500 not 1 meter let's say the radius is 0.5 meters and we tap in there and everything else we keep it as it is now we go to the top view by pressing 7 in the numeric keypad. Now we entered in, in the orthographic mode, view mode. Let's just scroll to zoom in to our circle. To go to the edit mode, we press tab. Now we should be able to see all the different individual vertices for this particular thing. First, we select all, all the vertices by pressing A and it selects everything now while selecting edge select mode we press we go to the front view by pressing 1 in the numeric keypad and we tap E on the keyboard to extrude in to extrude now it's not the extrusion it's not constraint in any particular direction but we want to constrain in it along the z-axis by pressing z now it's constrained along the z-axis now we click uh, we don't need to be precise at the moment even though we can see here how much we are extruding let's just click right, left click now we can later adjust by scrolling <coughs> uh, we can zoom out and then now we want to use the move tool here to adjust this uh, the height we want for this particular inside let's keep it roughly from by looking we want to model something that the shape looks identical not the dimensions sometimes you wanna uh, you won't find all the dimensions exactly but we wanna maintain the shape so there are many ways uh, we can achieve that uh, one way we can just grab this uh, image and uh, let's see what happens there and we can grab this and put it in our blender just like that uh, but we have to exit the edit mode let's try again and grab it right into the blender seems like it doesn't work that way so let's uh, save this image save image as and then let's save into the desktop uh, let's not uh, it seems like web file but we say copy image let's see can do the test here whether blender allows us to do control v 
no objects to paste in the status so we can't really do that let's go to the paint and then let's try it from the paint so pasting works here let's crop it and let's save these somewhere in the desktop say uh, as a png file missile uh, then we're gonna bring this into our blender as a plan so we go add and then we go empty or we go image empty i think is better than the image now we have an empty here and if we go to here texture or texture object uh, let's see how it, this empty works here the empty you can see the empty con object and then we can browse uh, the image file here and then go to the desktop we have the missile here and then open image now if you go to the top view by pressing 7 in the new one uh, i can see the image is uh, uh, we bought the image but where is our missile uh, i think the image is uh, quite large for our game. so we can adjust uh, the size and if we if we look uh, here we can adjust it as we want uh, it's lying on the uh, holding <coughs> scroll button and moving mouse sh you should be able to rotate the view and uh, the new blender allows very flexible uh, adjusting of this uh, image uh, we can hide it if we don't need to by pressing that but we just wanted a rough estimation uh, like the uh, ratio let's say let's zoom in into this and use the ruler tool using the measure i think um, this uh, this image is sufficient to create our model i think uh, we can happily close this uh, now and if you, you drag click and drag you should be able to see a ruler and you see with the whole length of the whole missile we want to get the shape not the dimension exactly so i'm assuming this uh, cannot be only three meter um, let's uh, bring it up a bit so let's make it now let's see if we adjust the ruler to match the image now is about six meter uh, i think uh, let's keep it six uh, sound all right so it's six point two let's say it's six point two so we give our this six point two let's select that by right clicking and then go into the edit mode um, by going into the menu here or pressing tab now we go move this at the mm, here move this um, if we double tap G we should be able to move and then it only allows us to move uh, where we can go so it uh, prevents uh, moving more down because since we have clamp on here uh, we can press C to not having any clamp let's press, press C again to clamp on and then we moved until where the other vertices are and then we s now press Z again the G again ah, sorry. Um, we wanna press G again and then constrain it along Z now we type in 6.2 6.2 and enter that's how we so essentially the technique was moving these vertices or edges where the other the bottom up to the bottom and then setting the dimension from there so we can always check by using the major tool here now let's um, while dragging the major tool you can press control to snap it uh, on the body of the part and then it's snapped at the bottom now you wanna 
drag this as well and snap to the top. You can see 6.2 roughly. That's what we wanted according to our measurement there. Now uh, let's go to the let's rotate our uh, image plane so we don't have to go top again and again. Select that one in uh, bring up this small thing by dragging. Let's uh, rotate this. Uh, let's type in zero along the x-axis. Let's give it 90 degree. Now it's rotated. Uh, let's. Um, we don't need you can always hide this by tapping n now go to the front by pressing one and now we enter the orthographic oh, that's very essential let's move this and we can always rotate this to match but i think uh, that's not necessary uh, we can do that i think uh, but I think it's okay. Uh, let's do it anyway. I think that's the best way to do. Um, let's rotate this further. Um, so the way we do it is select this and rotate along. We have to rotate along. This is X, Z, Y. Yeah. So let's give it 90. And uh, it doesn't look all right, um, uh, 270. Let's give it 270. Now it's looks now. Let's move this. We can have a side by side, or we can just put in the middle. I think, um, the way you can see the radius now is, um, we have to adjust the radius, uh, to maintain. Uh, it's not matching so let's let's bring it if we go to the we want to go to the wireframe mode so to see so by pressing Z and it brings up this panel we from the solid we go to the wireframe so we see behind and I want to adjust this because uh, it's a bit tilted let's adjust uh, the Z Oh no, Z doesn't work. Let's set it to zero. And X also doesn't work. Rotation. Oh, let's press uh, Control Z. And thing I think we have to just Y to keep it vertical. Okay. Now it's uh, looks alright. Uh, we can oh, let's Control Z. And uh, let's adjust this. Uh, yeah, uh, we can move this so it's matching. So it's a little bit more than 6.2, um, as you can see. And also, we just adjust this by dragging a little bit so it's fully matched. And if we go to the center cross, it should be able to the the cursor should be okay. Let's uh, down. I think that's sufficient. We can um, right go to the move tool and we can adjust it. Now we select our object and go to the edit mode, pressing tab. We want to move uh, this a little bit up so it's there now what we want to do we can either we do a create a I think uh, better than wireframe I have an idea uh, let's go to the here because wireframe we want to see a little bit in the object visibility uh, in here um, before display display texture while solid if we go to the material let's assign a new material for this and here I think there is something called transparency we can Apply the transparency 
so uh, we should be able to see things behind um, relation relation visibility selectable in all edges as in front axis textured wire uh, we don't want that uh, the new blender is a bit different than the old one so that's the thing let's save this first um, let's uh, save it in the desktop from um, inside save and seems like um, the name blender changed the uh, the way things uh, have changed now uh, things are now different obviously seems like um, yeah I can't find really the option because I'm used to have uh, there was an option that um, can't really find the used to have an option like transparency and uh, make it things transparent very easily now I think it's a different way of doing uh, in Blender anyway let's go to the uh, wireframe mode and while going in the edit mode we press ctrl R uh, it creates a look cut around it and we wanna yeah, create one and left click and then we adjust it up here up to here now we want to add few more so ctrl r again and uh, i think a two or three is sufficient and let's leave it in in the place so right click to leave it in the place and yeah, that's it now we should be able to let's select this ring holding alter and right clicking now we say uh, we press alter M to march march at the center and now we want to select this ring alter right click and we want to scale it uh, pressing S scale it let's look from the front by pressing 1 in the new way and we scale it up to there and select this thing again by pressing alt or right click and then we just this roughly there select this thing and again it's uh, it's not ex so select this thing and we give it roughly there now we want to maintain the scale of this and the bottom so we have to look what's the scale uh, by bringing this up transform you can see uh, you can't really see up oh, oh, it's undo. I think better we typed in um, uh, ready global local uh, let's select this I think typed in was a uh, better option but let's uh, do a rough so now we go to the solid look that it uh, looks uh, like that let's say control and uh, hide this now uh, we first want to add um, on the so it's got four of these um, let's go to the wireframe mode it, it has something coming out um, so what we have to do we have to create Again, loop card by Control R. Control R. Mm, Control R. Uh, let's go to the edit mode. 
control R and we want to pull this and let's set this one here and select this by holding alter and right click and move it up roughly there we have to and also let's do two more for this um, and also we need for this as well let's do one here and control R again for one here left click to fix uh, fix it in place again we do two for here we do roughly there and then yeah let's let's alter then right click to select the wing and now now that we need four of these coming out um, so for let's go to the look tab the solid mode let's hide our uh, empty thing or we can adjust the transparency you can adjust the transparency on this I think it's uh, similar um, really um, let's select go to the face selection mode and select we need a uh, four I think they are at an angle so you can clearly see uh, we select say this two and uh, we want to select so three from three faces it's up on us so we can do a rough one two so looking up oh it's uh, our plane at a so rotated at angle let's go to the top view let's exit uh, and then we fix the rotation of our this so clicking on this and then let's fix uh, by holding shift you can adjust it more precisely I think it's sufficient let's go to the front and now uh, select our missile and edit mode you can see here we are up from 3 and on this side we also do up from 3 so it's kind of symmetrical now right. um, we do the same on this side up from 3 so for our rough and here up from 3 3 faces while holding shift key and clicking right on the faces you should be able to select individual on the faces now we want to extrude along the normal so we go here extrude region uh, extrude let's select undo and extrude along normals and yeah what seems like something we don't want it's not doing very well let's do undo and let's select here one face is missing and let's go to extrude individual extrude region let's try extrude region and alrighty extrude region doesn't really extrude along the normal let's do undo and let's try extrude individual and while holding uh, it doesn't really work again I'm just showing you different options uh, I can just simply press E to extrude and extrude it and uh, right click to dismiss and then we move G double G uh, G we wanna 
So it seems like uh, uh, we want to extrude it, move it along the from change, we say normal. And we from here we say individual origins. Does it work? Seems like uh, there's something fundamentally wrong. This extrusion, I just said active element local, let's set it to local. Yeah. Control Z uh, move Z it doesn't really do much anyway. Let's try control undo this set it to global and then didn't work you see it didn't work medium let's set it to before as it control z to cancel the operation let's select this and mesh uh people face extrude faces uh, doesn't really work if we constrained it along particular and again it doesn't work either and let's do undo we wanna now normal I think this is the only way to go let's set it to to this looking from the front um, it looks alright now what we want to do is scale it and scale the face individual faces um, select this and scale uh, you wanna I think the best way to do it is using a shrimp uh, push and pull tool so we select these uh, edges and we go push and pull and then the transform and we do push uh, So that's not the one we wanted. We go push and pull. Uh, I don't know why it's not. So yeah, so this if we constrain it along along x. So because I have here, let's set it to local, um, or we can set it to normal. Uh, normal as well. Now, uh, if we do a scaling, um, scaling of this along the x, x, uh, which is the from the normal, and see here from the top, I'm doing along the normal, let's undo, control Z when I scale along X uh, let's uh, set you can see here the scale value in the top left corner, how much we want and we want to set it to 0 0.2, let's type it in 0 0.2 and we do the same for our other once scale x 0 0.2 and again 
selecting this okay so scale x 0.2 so we are doing it local along the local axis x now we we'll local now and I think yeah so this looks alright let's go to the front <coughs> now <coughs> I think I'm doing it right so it looks nice now now we have to shape it according to the picture let's uh, select all of this let's go to the look that mode select these uh, upper edges uh, let's select individually um, let's select this as well select a clicking right and holding shift run right mouse button and hold shift go to the <coughs> let's see can select anything else when pressing one key on the keyboard now go to the wireframe mode by pressing Z and selecting wireframe now we slowly move this into this uh, for some reasons it still doesn't look I think uh, that's because we're looking at a from a different angle maybe but we don't want things to be but we can fix it I'll show you how to fix it later and let's uh, now do the same for uh, go to the solid the bottom bit um, <clears throat> I know um, uh, let's select this uh, and uh, now let's go to the wireframe mode and then we push it up now it looks somewhere close but we have to bring it out uh, a little bit so how do we do it one thing one way to do is we bring this thing out along the normal as you can see we have normal selected look from the top we have to bring it out along the normal and let's select this as well and uh, select this and select this we want to pull um, but we also have to move these things as well so that uh, <coughs> Uh, here. Uh, it's a bit. So initially, when you are creating model, you have to keep the number of faces count to minimal, so that you're just constructing the geometry. There's uh, the defining the boundary, individual origin. We go normal. Uh, seems like this. Um, Cancel it. Uh, we haven't selected this bit here, and also selected, selected uh, this bit. Just rotate the camera and then check if it's <coughs> so scaling, scaling along. So we can do what we can do is scaling, scaling along individual. And if we remove the clamping and uh, I think the scaling is the best way to go for this so we have here normal selected in individual origin just press S and press Z now it's doing it on the Z plane and we are moving it along the uh, Z axis, uh, as you can see, something happening there, but it's alright, we can fix it uh, later. Let's try after this. Uh, so, if but now see if it's uh, okay, it didn't do for the bottom bit for some reasons, it's only did for the 
upper bit which, uh, which is uh, which is quite unusual uh, let's undo the whole process let's try selecting the face I think uh, selecting the face is better uh, because you have to do a trial like kind of trial and error to understand how different tools work in Blender and then go to the top view by pressing 7 and then scale again Z and now it's uh, doing quite differently uh, Z again and it doesn't work right clicking cancel the operation cancels the operation see Z okay we can move it because now I've selected normal and then individual origins by pressing G and Z we're moving individually along the Z axis this is what we wanted I think not along the Z axis individual Z axis so individual Z axis is just uh, along the normal so now that's what we wanted let's look from the and then if we go to the wireframe mode you can see it's uh, closely matching strike and G and Z and you can see uh, let's go to the top and uh, let's reduce it a little bit here yeah. and the front I think uh, it's now it's quite close and uh, go to the loop depth mode so this is uh, kind of what we wanted let's save this before we lose anything now we do the same for the bottom bit we had <coughs> so to the front view by pressing one and this uh, is coming out at, at an angle because we are doing it roughly we don't know exactly the angle between the flaps but uh, let's try uh, this by looking at this from this point you can see uh, let's do it uh, so we have two here and do it here and also same from this side and same from this side now we want to extrude it again along the Z and uh, one way to we want to go to the wireframe mode so we save what we do E extrude along the uh, E you can see it's uh, doing it along the Z this is happening because we selected uh, here normal and individual origins so the extrude would be working that way now so you can see it's almost matching I think that's quite right go to the loop tab mode so that's what we wanted now we wanna do the same for uh, we wanna reduce uh, the push and pull for here as well and, uh, let's go to the scale you can use Excel to uh, I think push and pull is better let's do push and pull and along the y-axis so here we have to change it back to local maybe not individual origin but maybe on point let's try now push and pull and uh, we have to do it this uh, for this too G no. let's go there push and pull and we have to do it along this bit uh, yeah we can we can do the G a move to double pressing and we move uh, along this particular edge you can see how it's uh, working if we look from the top we can G and again press again and it moves along the edge that's what we want and here you can see the value on the left top left we want to set it to minus uh, 0 0.8 or 0 0.9 
let's type it in minus 0 0.9 uh, and enter and we do the same for this double G and then move it along and minus 0 0.9 you have to make sure you select double G and then minus 0 0.9 because uh, it will slide the edges along the particular like in this direction or in this direction while it's in, in this direction we type it in the value minus 0 0.9 and enter now all of them having the similar thing now we exit that's what we wanted and the thing is here it looks a bit thick but uh, naturally it's not like that I think uh, here I think it's fine we can adjust um, the blade let's go to the web frame mode and we adjust the flap uh, in the edit mode we select the top bit which is uh, here you can select it and we want to move it down uh, not that uh, let's select this and let's press undo let's go to the solid and select this tool see the more time uh, you have to plan how you gonna um, approach let's go to the white frame of back pressing Z and then move it down like that now we go to the solid again and we do for the bottom now right click while uh, holding shift would allow us to select multiple edges and here let's go to the front and the frame and we're gonna move this uh, I think we have selected one here this one the solid here let's go to the front where I play mode and we move it up like that I think it's pretty close um, the look um, Go to the look depth mode and it looks uh, quite more like a dot. Um, in the wireframe mode, if we hide our, let's rename our object as missile here. Missile, so if we hide our missile, you see kind of uh, strong extruded bar coming out here we want to add that into our missile and also we have one here somewhere here as well so we want to add that into our model as well so the way we do it we go to the look depth uh, solid mode go to the edit and those parts coming out exactly from here and uh, we have to see where it's the starting it's beginning here and it's ending here so we have to add a loop here so control R let's cancel and deselect everything control R uh, left click and then move it I think we already have a section here so we don't need any additional let's undo by selecting as select yeah so uh, I think uh, we already have so this is starting from there and ending in there so it's perfectly fine so we just select these uh, two faces as well as these two faces to add 
this additional thing coming out. <laughs> Put it on the side. Oh, undo. So in the end. Now we wanna do the same extrude from the top. Let's go to the wireframe mode and then extrude. Let's cancel the operation. And then let's see if we have selected everything. Let's go to the top. Uh, here we say normal and then individual origins. Extrude. We bring it out. Uh, I think that much is sufficient. Let's go to the loop depth mode. I think uh, this is sufficient. Now, what we're gonna do here is select and uh, we wanna create a loop. Control R, we wanna create a loop. Control R. And we want to create two of these, and I want to glide one up here and right there. The second one, Control <coughs> Alter R, Alter right click to select, and I glide it down there, maybe here. Um, what actually I was looking for? Okay, I think uh, we don't need this one, so this ring we don't need it. Um, so let's uh, do something else. Let's delete this, dissolve edges so it will be removed. For the top bit here, we wanna select uh, these two. So these two, uh, we wanna merge. And merge and uh, select. Let's go to the vertex selection mode and we wanna select these two and say and press ultra M plus so margin this as well. Alter M to bring up this march when I say last because the not the first vertex, the last vertex and select it last so it's kind of adding, adding that thing so if we now move this thing down you see no, downwards let's go back to the global mode and you can see that's what I was and create it. So let's uh, do this. Um, uh, last, in, in last, last, and we do for for this side as well. Uh, let's select these two. Wait, sorry, last. Last alter M to bring up the march menu. And last uh, the last vertex in the selection. It's margin. Now we wanna select all these. Um, here one is uh, one didn't do a good job. Here one is missing. What happened? I think this is not good. Let's stop one. Let's undo the process. Control Z. That's a big mistake, but the yeah, only way to fix it undo. Control. Yeah. Let's select this and select this. March last. Now it's fine. If I can do the edge selection, maybe it's easier. Just select this edge and this. Ultra M. March is center. Cursor collapse. Collapse doesn't work, okay. Let's go to the vertex selection. 
Okay, it doesn't work for more than one last. Select these and these, uh, not last. Last. Okay. Now we have these, we have to select, let's go to the A selection mode. In this two. These two, two, two. While have global, we bring it down. How much we want? I think that much is looking alright. How we can bring it down further? We want. I think that's fine. And here, so it looks safe. Let's uh, go back to here. We go to the Wi Fi mode. Yeah, let's hide the missile. You can see maybe from another picture, you should be able to see how it looks. Yeah, it's a bit brown here. Yeah. So let's show the missile. In a solid, let's go to the look tab, it looks nice. So, and the thing is, here we have to march, go to the edit in the, in the edge selection mode. You see, it's a gap there. We have to march that. Um, Think the way to achieve that um, if we move it down and up to there it would work but more efficient way to do create some vertices here and then let's go to the top selection and you can see it's not matching with the in. can individually adjust it but uh, I suppose using the knife tool also would work use the knife tool and we can but it's more like an animal job um, so here you can see for the knife tool on angle constraint and cut through, ignore a snap, and then midpoint snap, control the midpoint snap, in close cut, define cut, cut through, panning. Uh, but a more efficient way of doing it um, thinking how to achieve uh, the goal we go to the Wi-Fi mode on the side right more is efficient in thinking uh, if we this is a render view but let's go which uh, here matcap view matcap gives you a nice uh, view we go to the solid mode shading and then matcap it's nice for seeing things uh, all clearly uh, we can create control r a loop here edge loop for individual I think that's the way to go and then bring it down up to certain so we can see the value here slide so it's going negative we go positive up 0.9 let's say 0.9 uh, we cancel it we can do the double G and then glide it 
as well. Let's go to the top view and double G again and then we just kind of see what are the values for uh, 0 0.88 0 0.9 let's go to the Wi-Fi mode and we can clearly see this is uh, not gonna be 0 0.9 and uh, let's go solid mode is roughly 0. Point, 0. Point, let's give it 0. 0.88 0. 0.88 so now it didn't let's select even because we want to do evenly let's go on the top and uh, it's uh, making sense in the wi mode okay solid and we want to clamp uh, will be corrected uh, let's maybe not 0 0.8 let's 0 0.8 if we remember our scale So looking from the side, uh, we just press Ctrl A to look for this particular. Uh, I can't really see here from here. It looks uh, much clearer now. Uh, we see we have to give a yeah, 0 0.9. It's all right. It's not precisely 0 0.9, but it's all right. Now. We want to go to the vertex selection mode and then we just match these uh, vertices. Um, vertices uh, stitch in this kind of and we want to do the same for here. Look, leave it there. You know, this is a uh, 0 0.9 and even. And Mars is lost. And we will do for this side as well. Control R, loop cut, and then here we want to set the value here. Um, and lost. Lost. Plus, we can remove the additional edges uh, in the Wi-Fi mode later. Minus 0 0.9. Plus, uh, plus. And let's look at the go to the Wi-Fi mode and see here we have additional edges or uh, faces inside which is inside the we don't need it we say only faces no we say dissolve faces to the loop depth um, wireframe mode but still have something uh, faces we delete here yeah, that's what we wanted delete the face just inside you can see in the now it's that we have some faces um, with, which we don't want which is under if you are modeling for game or it's good to delete additional thing which is not essential part that's so while you're doing further editing it's gonna be you press it's gonna be easier so it's perfectly so you don't have the face in, in a inside face additional faces it uh, makes life easier uh, for editing later
So now it's a very clean as well. So here I think um, we have this additional thing. We can march these two. We don't need. Uh, why I had this in the first place? Uh, undo Pro M plus. Uh, we don't want to do all these individually and just select the ring if it's possible seems like uh, so we wanna deselect uh, this we wanna deselect because we just wanna if we mark this everything will be marked automatically because uh, sharing the same vertex anyway so we just want to move the ring up so that we, we could use the march function to remove, um, let's move it g to double g to move it along the and then move it can't really move any higher for some reasons. Cancel the animation player. Who is playing the animation? And as a move it, it's not going any higher. Clamp on, but it should go in higher. Um, I don't know why I can't move it. If I just dissolve it, let's try dissolving. Dissolve only faces or edges, breaks. And just say dissolve edges. So it dissolved that. I think uh, we should also move this up as well. And if merge it. So much is the last now is what we wanted. Last because we want to keep our geometry as simple as possible for holding the no additional edges, no additional vertices. It makes uh, editing or using the tools available in Blender work as expected. Otherwise because of your construction of the shape tools doesn't work and can't really complain the software if its algorithm cannot figure out your um, your format of geometry controls as now you don't have let's select everything a by pressing a and Control V to bring up the vertex menu and here march vertices by distance. Anything very close is marched here. 24 vertices. We have to check whether we are losing any detail by doing that. Seems like we are not losing anything. And which is what we want. And here yeah, we have pretty close. We have to fix that. Uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, controls S, and let's go to the A selection here. And the bottom bit, we have to do the similar. Uh, we can do or we can leave it. I think. Uh, we can do it. Let's stitch this to last, last, um, and we have to again remove later additional last. Uh, Additional faces is which is inside like this one. 
to inside the body so we don't want any dangling faces I think there is an automatic function in which uh, removes any additional dangling faces oh, let's try that function this time let's select everything in the face selection mode and go face and uh, we go triangulate uh, edge selection maybe you see in the vertex march by distance uh, propagate blend from smooth connect or in the mesh mesh to clean up delete disseminate uh, and delete I think there should be delete loose didn't do anything okay let's try again clean up uh, limited make planar faces march by distance fill holes separate short elements um, uh, I think the delete loose was the one this is limited let's uh, we have to do it manually then let's go to the wireframe mode and then here see some faces inside to delete the faces so that the geometry is not having any unnecessary so it's all one hollow uh, bit it's good to have that save now we want to go here and also what we want to do with this I think we can keep it uh, let's round it up uh, we can use the bevel tool control V you can see how the bevel tool works and this is uh, one of the Automation automated tool available by the blender. We can say claim overlap so and then you can see do it up to there. And this is a nice tool we could have used before, but and we can also adjust the profile. Let's keep it five and then segments, number of segments can add and the profile would adjust how it there is a concave and convex let's keep it 3.5 and segment to I think um, yeah we want to keep it simple so here I'm gonna give it 0.5 so it's clamped I'm gonna do same for this control V create the level and up to there now if you notice doing this because the bevel tool creating additional edge here is merging with the red so we have two edges there hiding overlapping on each other so we have to use the dissolve uh, by distance dissolve vertices again control V and again because the settings are reserved for this tool we just control V and then move the mouse and we select everything Control V, march by distance. So we remove these additional uh, edges, vertices. Uh, I can check by selecting this and moving. So one thing. No edge selection. Let's see. Um, this looks nice. Okay. And we want to do. Let's go to the wireframe mode. We may don't want to add anything but here is another bit we want to add that one at the center something here coming at the center of the side let's keep it center if we look at the here is at the center of this bit and again we do the 
here we have 3 3 go on the other side and we do the extrude and here normal individual origin go to the wireframe mode we want to extrude and we want to give it escape it And here we can set it move from minus 0 0.02. Uh, why it didn't work? I'm not sure. It should have worked. And let's type it in 0 0.0.02. Enter. And now it worked look that let's go to the solid um, and for this also we want to use the bevel selecting bevel the edges control v and here number of segment is two and i think Even though it's not that wide for the for our shake, uh, we can later adjust it. Um, control V, and, yeah, and we do the same for bottom. Control V, Control V, and then we again select everything. Select everything. Control V. And march by distance by distance we remove the additional and now we wanna glide to this along this edge so normal uh, let's select local individual origin gg double g um, it's doing something strange let's do medium point one g and local Uh, it's not really working individual I say local it's maybe if we no no scaling scaling would do the job maybe scaling along x i think so scaling holding shift i can adjust you can see the top left corner let's set it to 0.5 enter and this is what it uh, but here because uh, we have to connect uh, see we have to connect this we have this uh we have to connect this additional because there is otherwise it's not creating a perfect geometry if you look from the top and wireframe you can see there's something wrong there we have to connect these two by pressing j so that which is what we could have done is the bevel tool later, but uh, it's alright. Okay. Now we wanna okay, move this scale this as well, scale X. So holding shift, shift, make it a curve. So it's a gradually building up the curve. We do the same. For this side, let's select this two. Come from the top, scale and here we give 0.5 as we did for the previous one. And we want to connect these two bars with the vertices by an edge by pressing J and maintaining the geometry. Uh, and then we wanna 
scale this out uh, holding a bit natural round so let's go to the edit mode select everything again remove any loose uh, vertices nothing is removed so it looks fine now we don't need the image anymore i think we can use a uh, common sense to finish this uh, we wanna close this and uh, let's go to the edit mode let's select the ring alter right click and we say f to create a face and then i to insert loop and we say up to here insert and then e to extrude along the so we wanna let's make some rough uh, and this looks all right so here we have a missile now um, very typical uh, but in the picture maybe we saw if we let's see if we have missed any detail i think we did almost um i think the we finished uh, in the missile if we go to the smooth shading let's go to the object you can have either flat now is flat shading is smooth shading you see the shape maybe it doesn't look exactly because we haven't defined many boundaries but it just looks all right because we even the hard edges are not very clear because we here you can see it clearly it's more shading uh, the hard also if we go to the let's add one more feature here select object so we make it this point blunt not so sharp like as we so we go to the edit mode in vertex select select that let's do a bevel you can do a bevel looks like we can't really do a bevel so, uh, in, i think um, select this and then we create a edge loop there and edge loop R control R to do it doesn't work. Let's go to the select control R. So here we but this one doesn't work the edge. So uh, either we can the edge loop doesn't work. You see for the upper bit because it's converging to one point again. Let's first uh, go to the object mode and then we apply the scale sometimes. And um, this is what prevents many tools from working as scale. And go again and R. Still doesn't work. One thing we can do is just create this and then move it up to this and then move the other one up let's do that one uh, instead uh, we move it up to there so we know roughly this is here on the script uh, move this a bit and then move it up and move this and move it roughly back replacing that edge Move it this, uh, move this one, and scale it, scale it uh, down, and glide it along the edge by tapping double G, and we glide it. Uh, let's keep it there too. So it's zooming out. You can see. And now we can, by pressing period, you can. Um, zoom into the selection and then select the top vertex and bring it down bring it 
down so it's not so kind of making it not so let's go to the selection and select you can see now it's still pointing um, but uh, not so much let's go to the edit mode and we get really close to select this ring and glide it let's go to the top here and then zoom in wanna double g to glide it uh, roughly there and then vertex selection mode select this vertex ring and down so so now it doesn't maybe 